Good morning to my Washington Street family. This is Mr. Terrence coming at you again for our worship moments with Terrence. I hope that you guys had a great week last week. Closing out Black History Month was so, 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 so fun. But this is the first Sunday in March, and today we are going to start off with talking about peer pressure. Now, this message today is not just for our children, but it's also for our middle schoolers. It's also for our high schoolers and even our adults in the church, because everybody needs to understand what peer pressure is. And everybody needs to be reminded that the only person who we should be pleasing is our Lord and Savior. Now, the scripture that we are going to be reading today comes from Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. And the Bible says, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ, but we were gentle among you like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. Now, before we jump in and before we talk about this, I want to reread one of the verses and it says, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. Now, the thing that that jumps out to me in this scripture, it says not to please mortals. And I think that when we think about peer pressure, the one thing that we want to do is we want to be accepted. And that's what peer pressure comes from. Sometimes our quote unquote friends or our quote unquote acquaintances, uh, they they try to pressure us into doing certain things uh, so that we can be friends with them. But this scripture and this message in this Bible basically says that the only person who we need to please is God. So for my people in school, if you're going throughout school and you just want to be accepted, please be content and please love the fact that you are accepted by God no matter what you do. And you don't have to do anything outrageous. You don't have to commit any sin. You don't have to do anything that's wrong in order to be accepted by God because he loves us as we are. And you guys should love that fact. And you guys should go throughout every day knowing that my God, who I serve, loves me however I am. And I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do in order to be accepted by him. I hope that you guys enjoyed this message. I love you all. Have a great Sunday.